we've got Nalin Kohli with us uh, as well. Um, Nalin, as I see it, there are three or four points which are important. I'd like you to perhaps refer to, to all of them. Number one, this appears to be a clean chit for the Adani group. That's what several SEBI experts on this program have also suggested. Number two, the Supreme Court has said that small investors must be protected, that scurrilous reports, that's my word, not what the court had used, cannot come in the way of, uh, of, of harming small investors. And number three, SEBI has been endorsed. Three, three points. Would you like to talk about these? Well, I think the larger question here is, let us set up people for whatever be their motivations. Decide to invoke the Supreme Court, giving a complete go-by to the fact that SEBI, which is a statutory body, which is empowered to do so, is doing the job. They say remove it and give it to a third party or an independent, so-called independent investigation. SEBI is independent. It's not owned by a private entity. And what's the basis for this? A report by a third party sitting in America who may well be following an agenda to destabilize India's markets or do something like that or gain uh, in some manner from uh, this kind of uh, sudden reports. So I think that's the big question. Second, what does the Honorable Chief Justice and the Supreme Court say? That SEBI will complete the probe. Obviously, the small investors have to be protected. If there is anything wrong, that's why the statutory agencies come in. And that's why this uh, whole mechanism is in place. So I think running an agenda and using the courts for running that agenda is condemnable and needs to be rejected. Nalin, uh, the court said uh, the government of India and SEBI must look into if there has been any infraction of the law by the Hindenburg report on short selling. And if so, take action in, in accordance with the law. You know, you can't just publish anything and get away with it, right? Well, that's what, there's a new trend, Vishnu, and I must compliment you for that question. So there are two parts to what you've asked. The first is that obviously due process of law has to follow and it doesn't matter who is the person being investigated. If a person does any wrong, there has to be an investigation and they have to pay the price. On the second part is that can you also allow an agenda coming through a publication, which may be the media, without it being independently verified, with it being basically a set of, in a sense, just, you know, we have found the, we have uh, discovered this, we put it out there and we stand by it. Giving a complete go-by to all other relevant facts, can that be the basic basis for something like this? Do the public not deserve to know the truth? And in the name of the truth, can an agenda be run? No, but Nalin, you see, I, I, just to follow up on that point, no. it might be reported by some people that this uh, statement or, or part of the order by the Supreme Court seems to suggest that third party information is not in, in, important. That's exactly what the Supreme Court has not said. All that the Supreme Court has said is that by all means rely on third party information, verify it, is it credible, provide something substantive to the court and then we shall see. So, so let me break it down in a simple sense, Vishnu. Assume A makes an allegation against B. Whoever A is, whoever B is. A now could have made the allegation under different circumstances. Completely false allegation based on no truth. An allegation based perhaps on a suspicion. Some information or whatever. And an allegation based on information that is correct and truthful. All three possibilities exist. Now, if it is based on the truth and correct information, that allegation that A makes against B can be investigated, say, in this case, the police, and the police finds it correct. Now, there are two other circumstances. One is based on falsehood and one is based on some suspicion. They will not cross the same threshold. So what the Supreme Court says, you can't blindly rely. And you certainly cannot be expected to blindly rely on something just because it's published abroad, which I would call going one step further, a colonial mindset that there are set of people who the minute it comes from across the borders, when it comes from Europe or America, they take as the gospel truth. Whereas the same people will even run down the Honorable Supreme Court for its judgment if it doesn't suit them. That's an agenda. One final point, the Chief Justice saying that the power to transfer an investigation, which is what the petitioners were, were asking, must be exercised in exceptional circumstances. Such powers cannot be exercised in the absence of cogent justifications. In other words, the justifications which were raised were not cogent. Well, that's a logical uh, corollary to what you ask. 
And the, obviously, it was not cogent. The Honorable Supreme Court and the Chief Justice, Ranjay Chandrachur, sir, has very, very clearly said that if I, if you find something cogent, certainly we may do so. So that is, let me give another example in a layman's language. Suppose a police investigation into, let's say, a rape has been closed hurriedly to protect somebody. Suppose there is a pattern in that. Then what the uh, uh, say the high court of that particular state may say, okay, shift it to an SIT or we shift it to another agency. Now, there are cogent reasons that it would have studied. You can't just blindly do it because a please we made shift it. But on the other hand, say if the police did a thorough job, there is nothing on paper to find that the police has not done its job. There is no evidence coming that they have acted contrary to the evidence. Then why would you shift it? You can't have this round of investigations happening because somebody wants to take the credit that I asked for an independent uh, uh, investigation, even though that may have been driven by my personal agenda, not public agenda. Yeah, it's if you if it doesn't so if if the proceedings don't suit your interest, you just push it to another investigator until you get something which works for you. That the or generate news, Vishnu. Uh, the court seems to suggest that, that, that that's not something that works in our legal system. 